Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts. Today we're going to take a look at how to make a windscreen grab bar for a Carolina skiff. Now this is a project boat that I bought, a Carolina skiff J16. I did a lot of little projects on it. I made a bilge pump well. I added a, a bow deck. I re-gel coated it. Did a lot of fiberglass repairs. Made a wind, uh, windscreen out of Lexhand. I covered all of those on other videos and I'll put links in the description. But today we're going to take a look at just how uh, I ended up making a grab bar around the windscreen. So the first step was just to take some measurements. I measured the console as well as the width of the windscreen itself. I have absolutely never used a pipe bender before, so it's going to be a little bit of an experience. I'm using standard uh, hand railing uh, hardware, so I'm, I wanted to measure the length of that. This is the uh, tube bender uh, that my friend Rick Schwarz uh, lent me. This is uh, made for 3 m I'm sorry, three-quarter EMT. Um, I found that the aluminum tubing that I'm going to use, which is 7 8 thick, has a very, very similar outside diameter as three-quarter inch EMT. The three-quarter inch EMT is just under an inch, and the uh, aluminum tubing is 7 8 So there are some markings on this tube bender. So it, it will say whatever tube bending you, ha you have, it'll say whether it's what it's for. You also want to look for this arrow. That's what you're going to line up when you measure the tubing. So you measure a length of tubing, you know, calculate that out, put that mark on, and then bend it. Uh, these marks are for the degrees. So we're going to make both bends at 90 degrees. And you want to make uh, that bend until the tube is parallel with that mark. So parallel with that mark is going to equal the 90 degrees. So there are calculations involved in using a, a pipe or tube bender, um, and I got very confused, especially with the offsets for the, for the brackets that are going to hold, uh, hold this in place. So I decided to take the simple approach. I went out and got a scrap piece of uh, EMT, three-quarter EMT. I got this from Home Depot. It was about $10. I just made as close a, a measurement as I you know, could guesstimate, and I bent two 90s. And now the plan here is then, is then to take that piece back to the boat and see how much either wider or narrower it has to be, and then just subtract that from the measurement. And, and that process actually works pretty good. I, I screwed up, and at the last minute I, uh, I subtracted an inch because my windshield is a little bit narrower up at the top than it is at the base, and I ended up ruining one piece of EMT. But... Other than that, it, the project went pretty smoothly. So here I'm just measuring the EMT. So this is not the aluminum tubing. Um, and then I'll figure out uh, exactly how wide I had to make it with the brackets. And then I'll make an adjustment. So the final measurement for, for my 16-foot uh, Carolina skiff was going to be 28 and a half inches. That's bend to bend. I started out with a, a total of six foot piece. I found the center line and then measured back from that. The aluminum tubing actually bended very easily. You know, I lined up the arrow, um, I bent it to that 90 degree mark. These two benders have a little foot rest. I probably should have wore sneakers or, or work boots, but you know this is what I did. The, the tube actually bent that aluminum really nicely, so there's no creases. I was a little bit concerned because, you know, the tube bender was not made for 7 8 tubing. I wasn't sure how critical that had to be. Now the second bend, so I've lined up the arrow on my mark, my uh, 28 and a half inches. I want to make sure that I hold that back uh, bent bar, you know, perfectly level with the tube bender as I'm coming back. Because I want them to be parallel. And again, I'm going to I'm going to bend this right to the 90. I'm going to use a, a tube cutter to cut off the excess length from each side. This does a nice job. You could do it with a hacksaw or you know a uh, angle grinder, but this does a nice job, and you don't even have to clean up uh, the edges in order to get them through uh, the fittings. So really, this is a very simple, easy project. Uh, the hardest part is just figuring out the sizing. 
Um, I mounted that, as I mentioned before, with uh, standard uh, 7 8 uh, diameter uh, hand railing tubing, which I got down at the Marine Hardware. So the aluminum tubing, um, the 7 8 aluminum tubing for a 6 foot piece cost me about $27. Each one of these fittings was just over $10 a piece. Um, so you got your total of eight of these, uh, $80 in fittings and, and $27, so just over $100. I ended up with a very nice uh, grab bar. I think that it's real important because this boat is a little tipsy, especially when there's any type of wave action. You really like to have something that you could reach out and grab, um, you know, if need be. Anyway, simple project. I hope you enjoyed this short little how-to video. If you did, I ask that you please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. As I mentioned before, I put a, uh, I'll put links to all of the other uh, Carolina Skiff projects in the description below. And I'd like to give you an invite to check us out on the web at www.diyeasycrafts.com. Thank you very much for watching.